Hey guys, and welcome back to Terror Attack with me, Tenzin. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys like today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So in the last episode, we did rebuild, or we built a new vehicle. This one uh, deals quite a bit of damage. It has four, what is it, MK3 battleship? Yeah, cannons. Adventure auto, or rapid cannons. And then we have four cruise missiles up on top. We had a couple of close calls overall, but uh, it's, it does, it's really strong. Um, it's kind of nice. Oh, even though we're, like, other than this guy here, because he's just not going to handle it. Uh, that there are techs out there that can actually, I guess, give you a run for your money, even with something like this, where we can deal a ton of damage in very little time. Uh, especially with the cruise missiles having such a long range on them. Uh, we're going to go over there and destroy this big guy after, in just a second. I'm sure he's full of uh, megaton cannons, or has a bunch of megaton cannons. Also, there's this is uh, version 0.8.1.3. And they've done a couple of updates uh, in that time. Uh, they tweaked some of the weapons, turn speed on some of them. Uh, some of the quests they've changed. So like the Zeus cannon for the Hawkeye, or hold on, I don't want to get this wrong. I think it's the Zeus laser. Yeah, the Zeus laser cannon. Um, they've increased the turn speed on it. Uh, and then I know like defend enemy tech quests, they've uh, increased or decreased the the radius in which you have to stay to the... Keep it safe, sorry. For some reason, speaking is hard for me at the moment. But uh, today, I think we're going to go... We're going to find some more quests. Um, we do have our base going. We... Uh, our manufacturing base, that is. We need to... I guess get that up and really running. Um, but it was just... Too unresistable to... Uh, just leave it alone. Or like, after we built this, it was like, yeah, no. We're going out and we're going to destroy a bunch of techs. So we'll go over to this uh, training station. All right, so we have one Hawkeye quest, which is lost baggage. Uh, and then we have a 20 meter ramp jump. Uh, come on. We have to find the delivery crate, which kind of sucks in this area. I bet you we're going to fail this one. Uh, there it is. Just lucky that we saw it. Just a little bit of it. Oh, yeah, I forgot spacebar doesn't isn't uh, the emergency stop break. Oh, yeah, that's right That's why we were requesting we were looking for resource blocks um, So we could start mass producing that way, right instead of having to use the harvester for everything uh, Harvester would be good for going through the forest. Well, I guess ever for everything pretty much other than having to mine mining is a Bummer in this game. I'm just gonna say it. Uh, I don't like using only three auto miners when you could put like 40 auto miners on one It was a lot of fun, right? You still had to go around and find the, the resources. You could just, you know, mine them out super fast, which I don't see why that was such a big problem. Um, but yeah, maximum you can get on a vein now is three, uh, maybe four if you're really good. Um, but yeah, that's all you're gonna get, and that's still gonna take you. Oh, that's gonna take you like 20 minutes just to mine. Yeah, probably just to mine out one mine or vein. That's just no fun. But we're gonna go find this uh, ramp jump, wherever it is. Obviously, the opposite way we were, uh, and we're probably gonna have to redesign, or we're gonna have to make a vehicle to do it, because obviously this this guy is not gonna be able to do it. He's not fast at all, even with the thruster. Slow and steady wins the race, I guess. <laughs> all right, so here's the jump. It's not very far. They say 20 meters. Um, but yeah, this is this vehicle is not gonna do it. So. Might as well make a venture one. Like that. Where are you going? I think he was just eager to get down there. Like I said, it's not a very big gap, and this is our tech that we made. Eh, nothing special, but I did I am using the Hawkeye mini bike wheels? No, angled bike wheels. It's because they'll get us up the ramp a little bit easier and still having to use the build beam over and over. Oh, we gotta go kill that guy. Okay. Hopefully we can do this in the first shot. Okay, line us up. Good. Nailed it. Now we have to worry about whether... Oh, of course he locked in on us. <laughs> Good thing we can get out of there quick enough, right? Okay, let's go like that. Go like that. We shouldn't have lost our crate. It should just be sitting down there. But we have a war to battle now. Oh, you're gonna die. There we go. It's like you came to the wrong place. 
like that time, you know, the bully picks on your best friend, and then you, the bully doesn't know you're friends with that person, and then you come around the corner and you're like, hey. <laughs> That's if you're a big kid, right? That's what I'm saying. Anyways, <laughs> let's pick up all this stuff. Uh, I, you know, I'm really liking the GSO skew once again. When it's the only thing you get to use, you underappreciate it, right? And then you start using the Hawkeye and the Geocorp, and you're like, wow, these are really good things to what use because they have such a large grab radius. The GSO ones, you can set them up so quickly. What did we get? Eh, some stuff. We got another track. Got another one of those weird rifles. Got a lot of armor. I'm happy about that. So this one, it says cross the gate in eight seconds. We'll go do that one, see, you know. We have to, uh, I guess we don't have to max out. How is he still alive? There we go. <laughs> max out venture, because we already have. But we haven't done a lot of venture quests. Maybe I should take the cruise missiles off, because it's kind of like we're, oh, we, we lost one. Oh, buddy. That guy got one, it got a piece of us. Now, how can you do that? That's where we start. <sighs> That's kind of cheating. Like I thought it was before, but now, it's even worse. Okay, where is our speeder? Speedy's right here. Drop speedy. At least we're using the Hawkeye wheels. If we were using like the GSO wheels, we'd get hung up on all this stuff really quickly. So I'm guessing, I don't see anything destroyed over here. I'm guessing straight in front of us, so let's give her a go and see what happens. Okay, so we need to use some gas. Yeah, we need some gas. Wasn't bad though, we were pretty close. Why can't they just use normal stuff? The Hawkeye tank right there. Only worry we have to worry about now is whether or not the front end's gonna lift off the ground. All right. Oh, okay, oh, come on, line up straight. There we go, let's go. Can we do this? Oh yeah, we can do this. Uh-oh, how did we run out of time? Uh-oh, <laughs> guy just landed by us. I kind of feel like we were cheated there once again. All right, we'll try it one more time. Should I put spoilers on? I don't, eh, you know what? Might make us, that's not a spoiler, that's a mid-wing. Might make us look cooler. I don't know. Where's the nose spoiler? There it is. How's that? Eh. We're aerodynamic now. Okay. This is it. I can feel it. Guess it's a little easier. Yeah. This... You gotta be kidding me. We're still not gonna make it. Yeah, we gotta switch to uh, different thrusters. Because obviously these ones aren't... They're not pulling their weight. Uh, I don't want to use the Venture because they still have that audio glitch. Uh, so we'll go to the Hawkeye and see what we can do there. All right, I just put two of the small jet thrusters on here. So we'll see our jet engines. We'll see how fast we go. I think we can do it though. All right, let's go. Oh, this is going to be a little bit closer than the last one. No, we're still not making it. Need more speed. All right, we got to use bigger thrusters. Which isn't, I guess, the end of the world. Yeah, the spoilers are helping a lot here, keeping us uh, tucked down to the ground. So what we'll do is we'll move these ones to the front. We'll put the large ones on the back here, and hopefully we don't take off. We took off. Yeah, we're in the air. Um. <laughs> uh, a little bit of an issue. We're falling back to Earth. I wish we could steer. Like, there we go. 
Well, <laughs> I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do about that. We need the speed, so we need all the... Th Maybe I'll just get rid of the two small thrusters on the front. <laughs> this is kind of funny, but... Okay, enough's enough. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright, I'll get us uh, back over here. All suited up and ready to go. Alright, we're doing this. This is the last attempt. Okay. Uh, we'll try one more time. That was a really interesting, actually. This is how it spun out there. Uh, let's see if we can't... Oh. Gotta watch this guy here. Let's see, do we have any smaller spoilers? Yeah, we do have these ones. See what happens there. Give it a shot. That's all we can do. And nope. A thrust to lift capabilities are way too much, man. Okay, we're gonna put this guy away. And... Put that part away that's just sitting on the ground there. Our little wing. That's saved us. Oh, come on. And we'll head over here and we'll destroy this guy. Interesting, interesting. That's a... What? Terror train? I like it. Gone now. Alright. So what I think I'll do, once again as usual, is I'll head to this uh, trading station here. Our base is just beyond that. So if there's no, there's no good uh, quests, we'll just head back to the base and maybe... I know we don't have a great harvester made, so maybe we'll make a larger one. Especially now that we have the big daddy wheels. Gotta be something good with that, right? I can't think of any... Like the, what is it, the behemoth wheels are awesome. Or I guess we could use the caterpillar ones too. Hmm. Oh, I guess the training station's right here. Just trying to think, like, what would be... I think the Big Daddy wheels would actually uh, move faster than the behemoths. I guess it all depends on how big we want to go. Ah, we got nothing. Alright, so our base just spawned in. And as you guys can see, there's resources all over the ground. So yeah, they still haven't fixed that issue with, I guess, the silos holding your resources, right? That's what kind of annoyed me before, and it's starting to annoy me now again. Because now when you get back to your base, you have to go... Where are the resource pads? Right here. it be like, okay, put everything back in place. And I remember when... Like right now, we kind of have everything just mixed up. But if you were to sort it all, that would be really annoying. I'm sure there's probably some on the other side that we got to collect. Yeah, they're like everywhere. Like, we spent time collecting all of these. And there we go. Hopefully. Especially some of them, like the carbite. Alright, so. Big Daddy Wheels. Not 100% sure on the Big Daddy Wheels. We'll figure it out. Uh, we're gonna build, I guess, a large harvester. Why not, right? Alright, so here's the work in progress for the harvester. We are using four TV threshers. Uh, that's, you know, fairly large. Uh, as you guys can see, I filled all of this with uh, resource pads or resource collector pads. We'll see if, uh, you know, the game can actually handle having that many resources up. I did want to put more weapons on here, but unfortunately, uh, with all these resource pads, uh, if we build up too high, uh, put weapons down lower. The uh, cannons will actually just destroy the resources as we go in. So, at the moment we're just using, you know, some megaton cannons. Uh, they don't seem to be doing too bad. Now I'll lift us up and the whole bottom, everything is just batteries. Um, as you guys can see, we're using the big daddy wheels on the sides, doubled up. And we are using Hawkeye shield bubbles and repair bubbles. But we'll see how, you know, we know how well they work, but... Oops. Didn't mean to spawn this guy in. I wanted to spawn in the 
skew. Okay, there's one. Oh, you know what? I didn't put it away. That's the problem. We gotta go back to the base. Gotta grab it. Then we gotta head back out. Alright, so we'll go for the through the forest over here. Um yeah, I don't know. Now I'm starting to think about it. Let's see how well the That worked out pretty good. Oh, I was like, what what is shooting at us? But it wasn't us. It was our base. But yeah, I'm starting to think the uh, Megaton cannons weren't a good choice here. Either way. Do some quick harvesting here. I tried not to put the wheels on the outside so that uh, we weren't hitting them or we weren't running into them. It was just the thrushers were 100% on the front and that, uh, you know, we didn't have to worry about replacing a wheel here and there. Hmm. Trying to think, it looks like we should almost put like an extra like plasma cutter or something like that on the side. I'm not sure. We're gonna definitely, if we fill this vehicle up, though, we're gonna have a lot of resources. And of course, in the in the forest biome, you can definitely do that just because there's so many trees. But I don't want to fill it all up with you know wood. There we go. I wish when you hit a resource or there was something in front of you, like right now. These threshers would just automatically start moving. Instead of you having to hold down the fire button, right? Or if they were moving all the time. Not that, obviously you don't want to hear the grinding noise all the time, but if they were moving up and down, and then when they hit something, then you heard the grinding noise, that'd be fine with me. Oh, Megaton cannons are slowly turning. Keep uh, firing, I guess. <laughs> Should just go with like a bunch of cruise missiles or the missile clusters. Or the cluster missile launchers on top. Yeah, we're going to have an issue anyways with uh, the resources. As you can see, well, first of all, we're stuck. There we go. Finally, you can see that the resources are actually taller than the Megaton cannons. So the Megaton cannons are actually going to be shooting into them. Which you definitely don't want. So I have a little bit of an issue there. Huh. Really? His guns are shooting us, or hitting us, and we're not hitting him. Kinda hurts. And we're getting stuck over and over and over. They watch. Ah. Oh, we're shooting straight through at the moment, and we're stuck again. Man, I really didn't think... Will you actually aim? Okay, hold on. We gotta move out. That's the worst part, too. Is that even if we put, like, hover pads on here... We're stuck again, man. So... The Megaton Cannons are only hitting our resources and nothing else. Alright. I'm not 100% sure if I like this vehicle now. Might need to move up to the behemoth wheels. The behemoth wheels would lift us off the ground a little bit more. Once again, is that what we want? I guess we won't be going much slower than what we are now. It's like, it's not the end of the world kind of thing. Also, the threshers are causing a problem when we go to the ground. Um, they could probably be up one more block. Instead of being down so close to the ground. That might be another reason why we're hanging up so often. But they're just a hair... Like, we're not that close to the ground, so... Yeah, I bet you it's the threshers that are holding us up and every time... Well, and then, obviously, because we're so square on the sides. Uh, when we go down a steep embankment, that's why we're getting stuck. So I was wrong. <laughs> the work-a-day, or the work... Or big Daddy wheels were good. Um, I thought they were just a little bit smaller than the behemoths, but no, the behemoths are a lot bigger and do the job that you actually need. You'd either need to use like something for a tech kind of like this. It'd either be all behemoth wheels like we have right here on the outside. Uh, or you could go with caterpillars underneath. But uh, we've done the caterpillars underneath before and it doesn't seem to like to drive that well. Maybe because I did the whole thing as caterpillar wheels. 
But uh, I did leave the big daddy wheels there for a couple of reasons. One, I didn't want to take them out. Secondly, when we do get high center, the big daddy wheels actually, or we're about to get high center, the big daddy wheels actually touch the ground and allow us to keep going. Um, but yeah, as you guys can see, we got a lot of resources, not as many as I wanted. But uh, yeah, let's uh, pull up to our base here and start unloading, I guess. But uh, as you guys can see, also, all our money is gone, or we're out of money. And that's because I completely forgot to tell you guys, um, when I was trying to get the... What was it? With the Big Daddy wheels? I think I m spent all our money purchasing Big Daddy wheels. Probably. They were like 20000 a pop or something like that, and we had like 200000 so... I ended up doing that. You know, not the best thing in the world, but hey. But that's gonna do it for this episode, you guys. So if you guys liked the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.